Uh, well, welcome back for another Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. We're going to talk today about one of the tools that you probably use more than anything else in Photoshop. Uh, but notice it the least of all the tools in Photoshop. It is Mr. Irrelevant. We take it for granted, uh, but it's an extremely useful tool and it is the hand tool. Now you may think, well, what do you mean the hand tool? I never go and use the hand tool. It's located at the bottom of the toolbar and I never use it. Well, that's probably because when you're using any other tool in Photoshop, I'm going to zoom in here on this photo. If you just hold down the space bar, whatever tool you're using automatically switches to the hand tool and you can click and drag and navigate around your document, let go of the hand tool, and of course you're just using uh, the tool that you were just using before. Now, when you've zoomed in on a document, well, you know what? I'm going to bring this back out to, to fit this on screen. Let's go window, arrange, and choose four up. It's going to give us four different photos here. Did you know that when you're using the hand tool, if you hold down the shift key and you drag one image, it drags all of the images on screen. That's kind of cool. It's actually the scroll all windows feature, but you don't have to leave it checked on here. You can see here now when I use the hand tool, everything moves. This could be useful if you're working on four very similar images or four of the same image, right? You just have duplicate copies of it up so you can monitor them and check them out. Uh, I usually keep that shut off. If I need to do that, I just use the hotkey shift, like I said. Um, I'm going to go window arrange and consolidate all these bad boys back into tabs. Now, if you're working, uh, you can see here we have a 100% option, a fit screen option, and a fill screen option. Fill screen does just that. You click it and it fills the entire screen with the image. Doesn't necessarily fit it to the screen, but it makes sure that the entirety of the viewable window in Photoshop, well, all you're going to see is the image. Um, I'm going to just zoom back out. If you hit 100, it zooms to 100, but there's hotkeys for 100 and fit screen. Uh, command zero fits uh, fits it to the screen. So you can see we still have some gray, but it's exactly fit top to bottom. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see, but it just brings it right in 54.54% for this image. And if I go to another one like this one here and I hit command zero, you can see 45.21%, uh, so on and so forth. Now, if you hit command one, it's going to zoom your image all the way to 100%. So this image is 4,300 pixels by 2,900 pixels. So I'm seeing the full 100% crop of this image. Let's say I want to be able to see the entire image and not necessarily at 100%, command zero, and it fits the whole thing right into the screen. Now, one last uh, hotkey or one last trick for you. If you double click the hand icon, it's going to fit the image to the screen. If you double click the zoom tool, it's going to zoom it to 100%. So just a couple of little tricks of the toolbar that you can use as well. So the hand tool in Photoshop, it's vastly underrated. It's a very important tool, but it's not really something you click on in the toolbar and say, hey, I'm going to go use the hand tool. You know what I mean? It's more or less something that as you're using a tool, you're probably going to hold down the space bar, use it, and then forget about it. But for the hand tool in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.